Right, morning, it's Fred, we're back on the George Elmy again. Things are progressing really well now and we've got quite a bit of work done in the after end. We've got the new wheel on here. This framework is all fastened down. The after end's had a couple of coats of varnish on it, that's something quite shiny. In this area here we'll have the, the new bollard fit. Big stainless steel knee on here. Nice and strong on there. This has had a bit of varnish on. Nice coats on there. The top is a bit dusty because it'll be working away. But before it has the handrails out to go on there, and then that'll be cleaned off for the final coat of paint on there. Coming round to the sides, the lads have, from the trust have been in and have been putting the seats in. So these are starting to look well now. They've all been pre-varnished before they've gone on, so we've got coats on the underneath of the job. These fastened down. And then there's a, when they're all in place, there'll be another couple of lats to fit on the front. And then behind that, we'll have some uh, buoyancy compartments put in. If you can hang on just a sec, I'll see if I can get a fly in buoyancy box. This is where, oh, foot in the hole. This is where buoyancy. It's a polystyrene foam, and what we do is we cover it with a, a muslin cloth, like the old stockinette, and then we give it a coat of resin, and that protects the foam and makes it solid and ties it all up nice. But we're just getting all the cosmetic work done now. If we move up to the forehead end, you can see we've now got that finished. Plenty of varnish on up there. We'll have some timber being altered in the front. This is to take the mast step. It's a new mast step to go on top of there. And there's a mast which is, I believe, lying in Thornaby now, is to be collected. We'll get that brought down and made up. This is where light boxes on my chocks over here. This is what the lads from the Trust have made. And then up here, we'll have our handrails. They've got to be fixed on yet. So they'll be bolted into place, but before we actually fix them, what we'll do is we'll drill some fixing holes through, and then when everything's ready to fasten down, we'll put a final coat on my white to give the finished job, and then the bolts will go on top. That saves loads of cutting in, and we know we've got a coat right through. Well, as you see, we've got the lads from the trust here, so uh, busy screwing the seats down and just had them into shape and screwed down and did a bit of final routing work on them to get them nice edge on them. They're busy putting them back. These are the regular lads who come in. It's uh, Ernie, Bill and Mal. Me and Alan have nicknamed them the three musketeers because they're the only ones that keep coming in regular. But uh, they're good workers, they do a canny job. The jokes are rubbish, but uh, <laughs> you know, you've got to keep the whip at them and uh, they're getting the hang of things. Damn. But they're doing That's a nice job. That's terrible. But, uh, they're doing very, very well. Yeah. We've now had uh, final coats of paint on here. That's another flat and two coats of gloss have gone on there. So there's now several coats of paint on the job. This is prepped up by the sign writer. We've actually got a name on now. Like we say, it doesn't matter what work you do, the sign writer comes in and pinches all the glory. He's done a lovely job of that. He's just a little bit tacky there now because he's ready to put the actual gold leaf on the job. So it's not quite finished yet, but there's a gold leaf to go on. And then there's the RNLI flag will go on the front. And on the, the same name will be on the other side, forward. And on the back end, we've got the uh, same lifeboat on both sides of the boat. So when that's all nicely done, that really sets it off with the um, gold leaf. Right, so we'll have a look upstairs now. We've got a bit of work up there going. Well, today we're busy putting some boards on the canopy. This is our final skin. Um, we're putting a rubber bonding on between the seams. This is from uh, Worths, we get this. It's very, very good stuff. And it takes paint and it takes varnish and it sets pretty hard to rubber 
you can cut it off quite good. So we'll just rub on this one up first. It's getting a bit precarious for working on because we're making something so smooth it doesn't give you a lot. These are the cramps we showed you in an earlier edition so that they're now actually getting used that they're working very very well and in a few minutes we'll show you how they actually work. So we'll just get a board out the steamer now and put it on for finish. This has already been once, this is just a final trim just to ease it. We'll just push this into place. That's what cramp on the top you see which reaches from one of the portholes on the other side. Tightened up nicely in. Yes. When you're bending these round, you keep your hand on the maximum part of the bend. So if there's any breaks, you shouldn't have a problem. Let me see if we just capture that. Right, we'll set that off in a minute. And here's our homemade chops. Go under there. Chop over up there. Right, so that's nicely ready to nail off. We'll just stick a few nails in just to give you the general idea of how it works. So we know where all our planks run. These runny marks here are off a felt pen. We marked all our timbers before we put the cloth on so we know where we are. So if I look along there and say right that is a plank there. That's a timber. I need to miss the timber. So I need two nails in there. Right. These are all the nails coming through. These are all the ones that have previously been done. You're saying every cross on your planking will have four nails. So top one first. So it's up. One down. So once we have a couple of nails in, we know roughly where we are. So we'll have it. We know what planks resting up against the edge of that one. It's three inches up. So I know if I can judge three inches on there, I should be. Able to Okay, for a seam nail? Yeah, timber yeah. nail. For a what? Timber. Yes. Yeah, so. so this is how we'll find all our nails and we've got to head up across that direction, up there, right across. Come near these nails are in the solid through the top and you come right over the top and the nails on the top. When we get a bit more towards the top as we're coming out of the cabin, we'll have to keep putting another block on to try and get you to your arm's length to reach. The time you get half a dozen of these nails done up here, your arms are getting a bit tired. This is the other side of our clamp on the inside of the boat. That's a homemade clamp that we have, and that's how it works. So as I say, we're losing the bolts off, and that can be rotated. You get a 360 cramping position on that. And this is the same on the top one on the other side. That's what cramp. So once we get out of sight of portholes, we might have to come up with another idea because <laughs> uh, that's as far as we've got. So that's the story to date. So, oh, wasps. So we're doing very well. 
uh, we don't particularly want any of them in the boat, anybody getting stung. <laughs> That's it right. for today.